You know, from the 1800s, you have photos of it that you found yourself. And as you can see, same, same. You've never seen it in like, is it in the museum or where is it? Yeah, it's in the Ottawa Science and Technology Museum, but it's up in the mezzanine on the, on the, on the plastic. So if you go to the museum, you're not going to see it. It's, it's kind of hidden away. So, so you've brought it back to life after 100, uh, 120, 125 or so years, yeah. I'm sure the university's happy you came down for this, even if you didn't get a competition booth, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think we're all happy with it right now. Yeah. I love this design too, and the seat itself, is this, is this a, a more of a new seat? Uh, or is this really from original too? No, how I, how I got the seat is, uh, I googled, I didn't know, I didn't know what, what kind of seat I should have, so I went online and I googled antique leather bicycle seat. And I got all the eBay junk that showed up, and then I found a guy in England who, who makes one-off leather antique bicycle saddles. So mm -hmm. I sent him an email, and I sent him the drawing of the bike that's out of the book. And I told him I was building a whippet, and then he emailed me back next day and said, "No, it was a it was a photo of him riding on his friend's whippet." So I knew that I found the right guy. <laughs> And so he's been really helpful, and he's taken some photos of his friends with it, and he told me where I should buy the pedals, and the pedals came from his friend in the Czech Republic. In the Czech Republic you found the pedals? Wow. He has a fantastic collection of old bicycles, and he also sells parts on the internet, so that's where the pedals came from.